Hey guys, today we're going to be playing Ultimate Fishing Simulator as requested by Patreon subscriber Nob. Fishing. Fishing. At this point, you guys do this to me on purpose, right? <laughs> it's like a cross section of two things where I'm like, no, what are you doing to me? One, it's a simulator. And two, it's fishing. Admittedly, I don't know the difference between a fishing simulator and just a fishing game. They probably just put simulator on there because it is the word that sells games ever since like Euro Truck Simulator became like a hot game. Oh, definitely not realistic mode if I can avoid it. Which one am I highlighting? Oh my god, the bre- that's insane. I thought something was wrong because I'm like, why is realistic glow when I hit left and the normal glows when I hit right? The glowing one is not the one you're highlighting, the br the gray one is. That's super weird. Choose your difficulty level. Uh, normal's best for new players, yep. I can't fish. Great. There we go. Oh no! That's a lot of interface elements at the same time. Okay, let's do it. Let's see if I can c catch one fish. Unlike that time when I was doing a, the car simulator and couldn't fix one car or the time I played the cooking simulator and couldn't cook one dish and serve it correctly and then I accidentally turned the lights off or something. I don't know what happened. That was weird. Uh, my simulator days have been eventful in that they have been uneventful, but creatively? And, uh, welcome to the ultimate fishing simulator. First, take a look at the player tab and the equipment screen. Then check out the fisheries. All right. Known issues, that's a lot of issues. I'm not gonna read those. Bite. Real. This is a lot of tutorial. Uh, start. There's the fisheries. Oh, look, multiplayer. Any language or my language. How exciting. Uh, let's... Where is... Multiplayer avatars. I'm just worried. I don't see any indication of voice. I'll just have to hope. I'll just have to hope. I'll just have to hope. <laughs> It's fine. Everything's fine. All right, let's, uh, let's, how do I leave this menu? Do I click this? Okay, here we go. Multiplayer, uh, let's try my language. If I'm gonna play with somebody, let's try to have the ability to understand them. I was checking the voice settings because I was worried that maybe, maybe it has, like, voice chat. And I was a little worried that I might be auto-broadcasting, which will make me feel really uncomfortable. If just, like, everything I'm saying to the Let's Play audience is also being broadcasted to some poor, unsuspecting lobby of randos. But I guess we'll find out. Connecting. Alright. Uh, you know what? Let's put this controller down. Everything on the screen says how to play without a controller, so let's not try a controller, I guess. You can move around the designated area using WASD and the mouse. Keys need to operate the game or described in the lower left of the screen. Oh yeah, there they are. On the right side of the screen you find information for weather and fishing. Explore the area. If I switch to controller, does it say? Nope. Yeah, it does not switch to controller controls, so... I'm gonna have to stick with this one, I think. Simplest way to throw is the precise cast. Use a spot and look at it. Looking at the ground, my cost to lower to hit the ground. A precise cast can be performed with the right mouse button. It's like that's a player. And that's a player. Somebody caught a cutthroat trout at half a kilogram. All right, precise cast. So right click is nearby, left click is farther. Alice flashlight. There we go. Control plus or minus changes the hour? Excuse me? 
What? Such power that I hold in this universe. Astonishing. Alright. That was straight up- that was just a fish right there. I've, oh, there it is. Yeah. Get it. Get it, little guy. You can reel the line by pressing left mouse button and extending it by pressing space. The reeling speed is shown in the right corner and can be changed using the RF keys. You can also quickly reset your cast by pressing Q. Hmm. Now reel the entire line in. There we go. Far casting is done with left mouse button. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see the bar showing the actual throw strength. Cast the rod and wait for the, some monster fish. I could have gone way further than that. Let's try way, way further. Jat! It's out there. How do fish? They made it come at me. I've almost reeled it in by shaking the screen. I've done it. Let's reel that line in. The line that's like all over me. <laughs> oh, I detest fishing in real life and video games. This was absolutely done to me on purpose. I'd like I would actually rather go with people on a fishing trip and not fish and just hang out with the people that are fishing than bother fishing myself. But here we are. This is possible. I have a zoom button. Is this like time travel? If I keep changing the time of day, do the fish eventually bite? You're supposed to fish, like, first thing in the morning, aren't you? Like, now? It's 5.30 in the morning. Come get me, fish. <gasps> fish! Look how active that is. It's excited. Come get it. <gasps> fish? Fish, look. It's alive. It's real food. It's... Uh, the rope's doing weird things. Good. <laughs> I wish I could shake it without sh moving my entire screen. But I'm amused, but I'm amused by shaking the cord. F9 is reset player. Uh oh. The bait hit an obstacle. Yeah, it's called land and it's the majority of the continent. I almost said the planet and I was going to be very incorrect, but I corrected myself. Then I undid that correction by spelling out to all of you how stupid the thing I th was thinking was. So, you're welcome. Oh, we can sprint. Oh, wow. So suddenly this looks like Slender Man. Sprinting through the tall grass with the flashlight. Here's a nice little rock. I like it. Yeah. Now we wait. I think. You can change the drag from zero to a hundred. It took the same amount of time to reel it in both times, I think. I don't think I understand what drag is. So how's your day? Hmm. Yeah, this is... At least I can entertain myself with this. Oh, you can see the moon teleporting. Oh, now it's raining. Or it was for a split second. 
I unrained it pretty quickly. Hey, the rain's back. I heard that rain helps get fish, but I have no idea if that's true. I think the raining's supposed to distract the, the fish from noticing the boat or like noticing just elements that would... It's like, you know, it's a, it's a noise floor that might get in the way of them recognizing the weird human that's trying to catch them. Muddies the uh, perceptions a bit, maybe. I don't know. I really feel like I need beat. Your hook size doesn't match the size of the fish in this area. Consider using a bigger hook. How? Change of view is C. <gasps> I get to look at the fishy. Oh, am I moving it with my mouse still? Look, they modeled a whole ocean down there. <laughs> I'm messing up that view pretty badly. There are fish down there. But my hook is the wrong size. Why'd they give me the wrong hook? Do I even have bait? These are the important questions to ask ourselves when we're too late into the process. Alright, escape. Uh, using this money you've earned. I don't know, I haven't earned money, I haven't done anything. Uh, you can buy better equipment. The ability to use equipment is limited by the player's level. Remember that equipment such as baits or hooks wear out during gameplay and must be replenished. Okay. Hook. Let's do a bigger one. Look at one of these guys. Level 5 hook. Got it. Buy equip. Neither of those buttons are doing what I want them to do. Uh, level 6. What level am I? Can I not get these? Size number eight. Size. Is that the one that I've equipped right now? Okay, well now I've got the Kubo E76. Your fly can be a, you can have a fly, you can have a maggot, you can have bread, you can have a pea, you can have kyrn. That's for level two. Corn is for advanced users only. Please stick with the pea or the bread. Excuse me. Well, that's good for like basically everything apparently. So let's go with that one. Let's just buy a bunch of them. I just bought, I just sold one of them on accident. Whoops. There we go. I'll equip you and resume. Oh yeah, I do have bait now. Yeah. Let's see if I can get the other user. Come to me. Fishy, fishy. It's a nice maggot. I feel like you'd kind of hope that it'd like move around a little bit. So that it would like seem a little bit alive. Look at it go, it's so wobbly. People do this for fun. <gasps> Come here. And when a fish catches a bait, you need to make a strike. You can't do it too early or too late because the fish will throw the hook. Press right click to, to strike. When you strike, the battle begins. <laughs> Finish him. Your goal is to fatigue the fish and tow it as close as possible in order to pull it out of the water. The strength and durability of the fish depends on its size and species. Line tension is signaled over the bar on the right side. There's a right bar? I see a bottom bar. If it reaches its maximum value, the line will break. Equipment strength is influenced by the parameters of each element. Tension also can't be too low for a long time, otherwise the hook will slide out. Fish fatigue and equipment tension can be adjusted by real working, real drag setting, moving the rod, pumping, right mouse button. Now try to fatigue the fish and pull it out. Where's this meter on the right? 
I don't see it. I've almost got you. I've almost got you. Did I get him? Yeah, I gotta cut through a trout just like all the people in the, according to the side of the screen. And mine's better. Oh, I just got the best fish this entire lobby has ever seen in the last 15 minutes. Judging by the size. Fish can be caught, capped, or released depending on your decision. You will receive an appropriate amount of money and experience. If this is the first fish and the, or the biggest one of the species you've caught, it appears a trophy in the trophy room. Okay. Sell or release it for experience. One experience, wow. Let's release it. There are a few things you must be aware of to attract the attention of fish. Hook size, it must be chosen according to the size of the fish in your current fishing place. Bait and lure type, different species like different baits. Weather conditions, time of day, rain, wind strength, cloudiness, luring method. If you're using a, if you're fishing with a lure. There are different fishing methods. You can read about them in the help menu. Tips on the best techniques and baits are for each species can be found in the encyclopedia and inventory. Let's go throw really far again. Boop. It's me. It's me. How many views are there? Is it just the two? Yeah. Come to me. So we're 20, we're 20 meters out, but we're like just over half a meter deep. Oh, here it comes. Here comes the fishy. He's coming for me. He looks big. Is he big? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. This is way easier than Ocarina of Time, apparently. Woo, there we go. It sucks. Oh, it's way smaller than I thought it was. Gross. How much experience do I need? That's my experience meter so far? How much is one point? Oh god. Going by that, in order to level up, I need to do like... I think, I think four might be a quarter of the way around. So like, I have to catch like 16 fish, I think. I look at the trophy room. That's not- that's the tournament room. Uh, time spent nine minutes. That guy's still there, he hasn't moved yet. But no, Humvili is disconnected. We've lost 50% of my fellow players. Soon, I will reign supreme. For there can only be one. It's a lot of butterflies for a fishing game, hey. He has abandoned this zone, so I shall claim it. Fish in tiny stream. It the bait hit an obstacle. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Fishy, fishy. Fishy, fishy. I don't see them anymore. I was casting it wrong or something. Hey. You wanna die? It's actually not an accurate threat because I've been releasing them all. Why would they pay me seven dollars for a shitty little fish I got? I feel like that number might be inflated. Come on. You know you want it. Yes! Oh, it escaped? But it was in its mouth. How do you know when it's ready? Hmm. Normally it doesn't even go in the fish's mouth. It's like floating in front of them. It's like when he straight up swallowed it on my screen, I'm like, oh, cool. He's... he's ready.
Come on over. Don't you like my maggot? It's a very nice maggot. Please? I totally want to look around with my mouse, but my mouse controls the rod, not the camera. Hey. You seem kind of big. Get him! I have no sense of scale because it's from the perspective of a tiny hook. You could be one inch long. Probably not. Probably significantly larger than that. Yeah, it's a uh, one. Th Whoa. One and a half kilograms. It's easily the biggest. Never mind. That guy just caught a six kilogram rainbow trout. Fuck me. Okay, so he's worth four experience. That was like a better catch. Significantly. Yeah, that meter is way up now. Look at that progress. The progress of a champion. Yeah. I'm totally going to become level 2 this video. No, I'm not. It's going to it's going to take a long time unless I catch something really good. Yeah. Wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, that looks that looks so big. Come here. Oh, here comes... Oh, that looks pretty big. Hey. Wow, that looks really big. Get him. Yeah. Is that a rainbow trout? It looks rainbowy, kind of. I don't know what one looks like, but that looks kind of rainbowy to me. Where's this meter on the right side of the screen they told me about? Is that like an out-of-date tutorial for when they changed the meter? Oh, it's like another cutthroat trout. The same thing I've been catching the whole time. Why did it look like it was different? Oh no, I got a brook trout. Before. Right before I caught it, freaking Plankhead over here caught a 5 kilogram version of this guy just to make me seem lame. It's not nice, Brook. You gotta play nice. Fishermen have notoriously, sh like, weak egos and you're gonna like shatter mine and then who will be the true baddie what's that it's just a log come on go i like that i can press c to get this camera angle at least it's more entertaining than looking at the lake there's like an anticipation a little bit of suspense. What's gonna happen? He got a five kilogram. Why is he getting such good ones? Look how big that one is. And it's not interested in me. There's a bunch of really big ones down there. Ooh. Come here. Oh, you're tiny. Oh, you suck. Just the maggot alone was like bigger than his head. That's not a good, that's not a good sign at all. That's two kilograms? Bullshit. That's... That's six experience. That's one of the highest thing, value things so far. What? Oh, there's a little experience. Oh, you can see the experience meter going up right there on the catch screen. I didn't notice that before. I don't know. Are there like unusually dense and not dense fish? Because, like, based on the size, I don't know how that was four times as heavy as some of the other fish that were, like, twice as long. I don't trust you. That immediately seemed like such a small fish, and it's apparently the heaviest thing I've ever caught. I'm like, I, I don't understand. These fish are liars. They lie to me. Why do they lie? Ooh. 
Oh, that looks big. But I don't know, I don't trust myself anymore. Catch it, catch it. Catch it, catch it. All I'm, do all I'm doing is left clicking. Just making sure it never empties or fills, basically. That's my radical strategy. Try it out at home, kids. Two point five kilograms. The biggest of them all. Seven experience. That's gonna level me up to two. Boom, I actually made it. I mean when I I mean when I anticipated not making it to level two, that was based on the fact that everything seemed to be really expensive. Uh, I mean everything seemed to not be very valuable. But apparently there's tons of it. Cut small cut bait. Bye bye bye. Equip. Bye bye. Books. The one that's catching stuff is this number one size one. Oh, next hooks are level three. That ain't happening. I don't know much about any of these things, unfortunately. There's like there's reels, there's rods. Let's stick with the simple stuff. I got a new bait. Go! Wow. Do you like me? I'm cut bait. Which is made of something, I assume. Yeah. Something. Boop. 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 Oh, look how big that thing looks. Did I just spook that one? Was it coming after me until I did the stupid wobble? Oh, I said, oh, he's coming at me fast. Slowing down. Get nervous, buddy. Ew, he's all pulsy and weird. Destroy him. Destroy him. Cannot be allowed to last. Whoa, whoa. Four kilogram rainbow trout worth 56. Oh, wait, no. What? Oh, wait, is he worth 56 experience for catching him and then 11 more for releasing him? Oh, I was miscalculating my experience this entire time because I wasn't paying attention to the fact that it was already giving me experience outside of the choice. I, I thought I was only getting that much experience, which that would give me plus 11. So even though I don't know how much the other ones were worth because I wasn't reading the number, that jumped from like what? Wasn't the last one like six and that one was, was worth 11 just for the bonus? Damn. Almost made it to level three practically. All right, well, that's about enough for today, I think. Uh, thanks to the developer for sending me a code so I could preview their game. If you want to check out Ultimate Fishing Simulator, there's a link to the Steam page in the description. Thanks for watching like always guys, and I'll see you next time.